Hi, I'm Lola. And I'm Lily. Welcome back to another episode of Grammar TV. The first production of the year was very exciting. Held by TCA drama students, the show was titled You Still Here. Lola Eastall has this story. On Wednesday 28th and Thursday 29th of April, TCA drama put on their first production of the year. Titled You Still Here, the production follows young Tasmanians and their journey throughout life. Lola Eastall, Grammar TV. As you may have already noticed, the school pavilion is under construction. Lily Dunn took a look at what is happening. Currently on the senior campus, the Gordon Ralph Pavilion is undergoing renovations. It should be ready for the upcoming cricket season. It will be a great facility for everyone when it is completed. Next up, we have a new segment you will see throughout many more episodes of Grammar TV, exploring what's in people's lunchboxes. This week's segment is presented by Hayden Allen and Josh Fulton. What's in my lunchbox? I have a lovely cupcake that my mother made for me and a bag full of grapes. <coughs> I do love it. I've got in my lunchbox is a milkshake, a bag of barbecue shapes, and some good old Pringles. You, you beauty. For lunch, I have a fruit roll and a salad sandwich. I have a fruit bun with jam, and I also have two cheese and bacon rolls. You beauty. Oh. Yo. Those are some cool lunchboxes. Keep an eye out for all future segments. If you're proud of your lunchbox, look out for us at lunchtime. This year, the annual Grammar Running Club is back. Asha Pohan interviewed Mrs Madden, the Running Club coordinator, for more information. So basically, running group is uh, two mornings a week, Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Uh, meet at the flagpole at uh, 7.20 and we go till about 8 o'clock. Students of all abilities are welcome to come along. It's really great to uh, run a few different courses with us. Uh, good practice for the cross country coming up as well. Might have to get around that one, Lou. Sure will. The Grade 12 Walkathon charity this year is the Cancer Council and they have raised over $70,000. This is a massive effort. A big thank you to all the Year 12s. A few of our teachers put their heads together to raise some funds. Josh Fulton has this story. On the 29th of March, Reverend Grayson, Stacky, Dr Clements and Dr Rogers all got their hair cut for cancer. With Dr Rogers getting a bowl cut, Dr Clements getting a mohawk, Reverend Grayson getting a scarlet and Stacky getting it all off. I'd like to thank them for doing something a little silly for such a great cause. Last Thursday, Grammar held the 2021 Cross Country Carnival. It was a great day and the house spirit was in full swing. On the 27th of May, Launceston Church Grammar School held their cross country. Ross came in first, beating 70 by 36 points, which is only two people participating. I'd like to also note that Wilkinson came in last, even though they had so many people supporting him. Go we also went around and asked people what their favourite part about cross country was. I really like sitting down at my house area. Uh, the cross country. I think it's the music that they put on the race. I've been in the first aid tent. Um, beating everyone at Tottenham. Everyone just having a great time. The lollies. The spirit. I love Mr Webster. <laughs> just seeing everyone have a crack and um, seeing people get out of their comfort zone. Everyone was having a guy, I think it's probably the best thing. Uh, everyone coming together. Sit. Uh, costumes. costumes. Everybody getting together and having a good time. Yeah, just being with your friends and that. Oh, no, not me! Socialising. <laughs> Tug of war, of course! Um, the running and the end of the finish line. Tug of war's a good time. Tug of war, yeah. Tug of war. Tug of war's always a good time, yeah. love winning that. Running. Um, how um, spirit. Yes, I agree. Uh, look, just seeing everyone coming together and, you know, I love pushing the kids to do the ball further. So, yeah, seeing them win. I really like the participation on the day and how everyone's encouraged to get out and have some exercise. I would also like to congratulate Alex Beaumont on winning Best Dressed. How are we feeling after our devastating loss last week, Lil? Yeah, look, I'm still in shock with the rest of Wilkinson. Me too. Definitely won't happen again. But well done, Roth. That was an awesome effort. 
Back into some positive news, some grade fives from the Broadland campus have an important message to share with us. Hi, I'm Barney. And I'm Lulu. And we're here to share the Wonder Rewards Recycling Program. So in grade five, we've been researching on the Wonder Rewards Recycling Program. We have been learning about how choices that humans make now will impact future generations. We want to help everyone in our school take responsibility and take action. So we would like all your students and yourselves to bring in red bags and tags. We'll put two boxes at the senior school office, one for tags and the other for bags. We will collect all the bags and tags to stop them going into landfill. We are, we are sending them back to the Wonder Program so they can recycle them. And we can also earn points. The soft plastics will be made into sports equipment. If we win a draw, we will get some bonus exercise equipment. We'll continue to collect the bags and tags after the pro program is finished and put them into soft plastic bins at the supermarket. To finish this off, we have a quick fact. Did you know that 66% of Australia's soft plastics can be recycled, but only 18% are actually being recycled? Let's all help make a difference. Thank, Thank you. you. A big thank you to Barney, Lulu and Mrs Bassano for providing us with that story. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode of Grammar TV. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.